Oh, another day, another big pile of packages from eBay. Gotta love it. Let's see what we got today. Now, my Sizzler Fat Track Post Pack. These things are pretty cool. They keep the track lifted up off of the ground if you're going to do like tunnels and whatnot. But I got these originally thinking that my track would sit a little bit flatter than it does. But the way I designed it, it goes too slow if everything sits, you know, low enough for these to work. The little tabs, they connect into the track and they just, they elevate the track and there's different sizes of them. Little short ones, long ones. Neat little pack. Is this a, a remake or is this an oldie? Oldie, 1970. And I think this is um, a lot of straight pieces that I got. Oh, it's in the box and everything. I didn't realize they, oh, put it out here. See, I didn't realize they had the box with it also. That's pretty cool. You got a date on this anywhere? Small print, way at the bottom there. Almost couldn't even see it. 1970, this is another original set. Feels pretty flexible. Doesn't feel like they're gonna crack. Might get lucky with this set, even though it's old. It's got some tape on there. That must have been someone's finish line or something at one time. What do I got here? I don't even remember. Three, four, five, six. Six straight pieces? That should be my, that should be my hill, right there. All right, last box. This, this is the box I've been waiting for. There's one more piece coming that's pretty pretty detrimental. It goes in that back 90 degree. It's a piece that connects the two corner pieces together. That's coming separately, but everything else I needed is right here. This is a, should be the California 500, but it's not a complete California 500. It was just a bunch of parts that they had from it, plus some extra stuff. And what it had that I was really interested in getting, I, I gotta stop talking when I'm cutting stuff open. It's hard to hear. The part out of the California 500 that I was really interested in getting was the Merge. Oh, they made their own box. It's got little crumblies everywhere. Mm. Looks like they still have the box though for the California 500, but from what they explained in the eBay post, it didn't have all the pieces. This box has seen better days. So many, oh my God, it's just falling apart. I get this in the shot. Look at this. That is some that is some serious water damage wherever this was stored. This box is supposed to be white and it's completely brown. Ends completely soaked off. Well, track pieces feel nice and flexible though. They have certainly. Ooh, I can smell mold. Okay, well I gotta be careful how I open this or touch this because I don't want it to touch my floor before I get a chance to sterilize it, wipe all that mold that obviously is from the water damage off of it. It looked kind of dirty in the uh, in the eBay post, but I didn't realize it was as bad as it was. Okay, a lot of curved pieces that I don't plan on messing with. This is what I wanted right here. All right, this is the piece that I was going for out of the whole setup. I needed some of the straight pieces, but really what I wanted was this finished merge right here. And there is some other stuff in here as well, but I don't want to mess with anything. It's all pretty dirty and gross and needs to be seriously washed. But for now, I'll get this cleaned up, get my straight pieces cleaned up and get all that mold off of them. Be good to go. Okay, here's a quick look at what I got loose in that box. Um, all of these straight pieces aren't from that box. They're from the straight piece set as well. I just have them out because I was cleaning everything off, wiping it all off. It came with all kinds of random stuff. These are some extra antennas for the back of the cars to go through this counter, which I gave a heck of a clean off to on the outside, but it's got where the, you know, the car goes through in the center. And that's just, it's just like a forest of mold in there. So I know it's a vintage piece. You're probably gonna hate to hear it, but I'm, I'm pitching it. There's just no cleaning it. It's pretty much 
It's rotten. It's disgusting. There is this thing. No idea what it is or what it goes to. And then they threw this in for some reason. Uh, the scrambler starter is in pretty rough shape. That's pretty much unusable. Everything else is in great shape. So, got some interesting parts to work with and some more curves. All right, there it is. I actually used some of those, those yellow legs just for a minute, just so I can make a little bit of a hill going down, just for testing it. Ooh, a little burst of energy there at the end. Now I'm just waiting on the wood to show up. That's gonna get delivered tomorrow. I can get all my pieces cut up. Sometime on Sunday when I get a free minute, start to build my tables. Tonight, I'm gonna take all of this off of the walls. I gotta cover up my windows with some black crepe paper, and then I'm gonna do something covering the window itself and figure out what I'm gonna do for my walls behind the raceway. Probably do something similar to what 3D Bot Maker does, what a bunch of uh, HO, you know, train scale model builders do for theirs and just do a blue background. By the way, got these too, not too long ago. Didn't show those off. Got some hanging lights above my racetrack and I'm gonna put two more. One right there, one right there. That's it. Catch up with you guys on Sunday as I'm building. And there are all my Plano cases kind of precariously stacked right now, but the idea is once I have the tabletop built, everything I have Hot Wheels wise will store, you know, just in rows underneath it and it's gonna be a ton of room for all my back stock. And all I have left is this section right here to take off the wall. It's been several, several hours. It's crazy. I haven't seen these walls in so long. That was my whole Roger Dodger collection right there. Aside from what's up in these uh, couple shelves here, my entire Roger Dodger collection is in this one box. All right, get all these screws out of the wall, patch some holes, clean up the last bit of uh, loose stuff here that needs to go away, and I'll be ready for the wood to show up tomorrow and start building. Man, talk about a real pain. Getting this giant chunk of wood four by eight all the way into my room around a really tight corner. Fortunately, I was able to squeeze it into my bathroom and because it's OSB board, I was able to flex it a little bit right around the corner. But if it wasn't OSB board, if I'd have gone with like just anything else that I was looking at in Home Depot, I wouldn't have been able to get it in here without cutting it in half. And I really didn't comp want to compromise the piece. I wanted it to stay whole because that's gonna help it stay a lot more sturdy. I could have reinforced it, but I just preferred not to, you know? Still not sure what's going on over here. I think I'm just gonna, like I said, continue the table straight across. All right, the next tabletop is in. I obviously have some bracing that needs to be done so it's not super wiggly, although when I get the last piece in over here, it shouldn't be very wiggly at all, but wish me luck. Let's get that next, uh, next tabletop in. Yeah, that's a good sized box, huh? Who's that from? Your friend. That's from my friend. Can you say 3D bot maker? 3D maker maker. <laughs> maker. maker. Yeah, 3D bot maker. Can, can you say 3D? 3D bot maker. Bot maker. Good job. That's who got this to me. Oh, tell me what this letter is. That's who sent it to me. What letter is that? P. That's right. P. Pee. Let's open up this box pee. Pee. and see what my buddy sent to me. Okay, open it up. 
Gotta pull really hard because I didn't cut it very good. Okay. Let me help a little bit. I'm gonna help. get it started. Now you wanna finish it? Let's get everything out of there, mister. This bubble maker. Bubbles. All kinds of stuff. That's the big one. Oh, what is that, mister? Can you open that up? Exciting. What is it, mister? What is that? I want bubbles! You are excited so much. The bubble makers then? The bubble makers, all the bubble wrap? Okay. Mac, this is the Fat Track Start Gate. Oh no. From 3 oh, no. Bot Maker. Oh, oh, that, that's all for you. That's bubble wrap. You can have that. I could put that in. And can you help me open up these next? Back in. That's awesome. Thanks for helping, Mister. Can you open this up and show everybody what's in there? He's gonna pull that bubble wrap. Whoa! Good job, Mister. There's some pieces. Isn't yeah. It? What are those? Tracks. That's right. They connect tracks together. Can you say thank you, 3D? Thank you, 3D. Now we can put our racetrack together and we can start racing. We can start a robot. Start a robot. That's right. He's a robot. His image is a robot. All right, mister. Thanks, 3D. Appreciate that. Big time, Adriel. All right, my windows are covered. I used styrofoam that was about half an inch thick or so. Stuck a few pieces together. You can see the strip of tape in between them. And then I shoved that into the window so that it's nice and flush with the wall. Same thing on this side. That is it. We are literally waiting on one piece, one tiny little piece that I need. And that should be here uh, either tomorrow or the next day. And that's it. And then I'm going to build. Then I can actually start building the track. All right, there it is. Fat track number three. And I got this. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous and I tried really hard not to, but I just couldn't find the piece anywhere. That curve is <laughs> right in the center of that curve. That curve is consisted of two end pieces, just like this normal, you know, 180 degree turn that you see. The two end pieces there, right there and there, but right in the center of that is this tiny little one inch connector. That's why I got this. Seems pretty crazy, but I, I just couldn't find it anywhere else. This is the only um, the only Sizzler set that has that piece in it specifically. So let's crack this sucker open, grab out that one piece, and finally, that's where it needs to go. Finally, finally have the whole track completely together. That is it. This is where I'm at. I stuck a few palm trees right at the base of the pillars, just kind of to hide those for the moment. I got to paint the pillars still. I'm going to paint all of them sky blue, except for pretty much the bottom 10 inches or so. I'm going to leave those black. So this bottom hill right here will be painted black. That bottom 
post back there, that's gonna be painted completely black. Anything that's as high as that is gonna be, you know, painted black going all the way around. Everything else though, is gonna be sky blue to help it kind of disappear in the shot. And that's it. Appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you guys are out hunting. Hope you guys are out finding cool things, doing cool things. Like and subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next one.